So, I just signed my promissory note for my student loan for grad school. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I owe a lot of money. I have one more year in grad school. And I decided to do this video to see, like, to help people or give them to be transparent. If you're new to my page, I am in grad school. Literally, I vlog about everything about my life. I'm in summer vacation right now. I'm in. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, this summer vacation school starts back next week. Yeah. I feel like I didn't even do enough. I feel like I didn't. But anyway. <laughs> so, we're going back to school next week. And I am kind of prepared. I'm, I need to do a little bit more shopping. I know. I have so much clothes. But anyway. Let's get to this video. This video I want to do to see, well... It's going to be an informational video. I want to be 100% transparent about grad school. This is for anyone who is considering going to grad school, who doesn't know what they want to do. So, let's talk about it. After you get your BA, you need to figure out what you're going to do. Actually, before you even get your BA, before you walk down and get your piece of paper, you need to figure out what you're going to do. Either you're going to start your own business, you're going to do something that's in your field, but like... A BA is more so equivalent to a high school diploma now. So, that being said, you should decide whether you want to go to law school or get your master's. I decided to get my master's because I'm going through a different route. Now, be prepared. When you're in the master's program, majority of all your classes will be at night. And your co-work is going to be your classmates, but every class you take will be with them so if you don't like them <laughs> you're gonna be stuck with them for the rest of the your whole two or three years whether where the option you went going through I went through <laughs> whatever option you're going through you're gonna be stuck with these people and if you're new to my page or you've been seeing my day in the lives and a grad student and all that you'll see because I'm I'm honest I'm honest with everything I'm actually too open a lot of my co-workers do not like me you think about that too as well. I think it's maybe the degree plan I'm in, maybe. But it's a few women. They don't like me for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing I can do because, yeah. There's nothing I can do. If you don't like me, you don't know me, that's a problem with you. But anyway. And a lot of people are older in my class too. So I only talk to about two people. Actually, let me last stop lying. Let's talk about, and they're all guys too. So it's like three guys that I talk to and they follow me on social media. But that's about it. Nobody else in my cohort talks to me. Um, one person says I look like I'm stuck up. Okay, I get that. And then somebody else, it's just a lot. So I just think it's jealousy. That should be, that's just between me and you. I think it's jealousy. But I'm just explaining. <laughs> this is actually a downfall because when I was getting my BA, that was my goal to get for my master. I'm like, you know, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have so many friends. That was my goal, and we not so far. Is that that maybe in the, when I get my PhD program, I can find friends, and that leads to one of the points to consider friends. I know it's probably like you don't think like that, or you're not worried about it, but you will want. Okay, let's have, let's say like this. You want people that's gonna be equally yoked. You want people who's gonna be, if you're gonna be successful, you want all your friends to be successful as well. So grad school is the perfect place to meet people who are successful, who have a plan for a career. Networking, that is very important. When you get older, you probably, because I'm older, it's very important, networking. And finding friends who are similar to you. Okay? <laughs> so, so, wait, yeah. oh my god, see, this is why, I don't, okay, when I do tutorials like this, I don't have a script, and of course, I need a script. So, we talk about networking, and we talk about you need to figure out what you're going to do, figure out your career, and if you're right out of high school, right out of BA, you're probably not thinking like that. I'm older, and it took me a little while to get my BA, so I'm a little older, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I'm a little older. And I'm a wiser and I, I've been through a lot. So, yeah. So, networking. Also, dating. It's always good to date as well when you're in college to meet your future husband. So, that's another factor for a master's program. 
that thing consider if you're right out of your ba you just got your degree and you don't know what to do going to grad school it's a perfect way for you to figure out what you want to do figure out the career you want career like what was what best fits you the downfall is if, if some of your co-works do not like you or are jealous of you but that's not here and there but like i said earlier all your classes will be with the co-work but you do have to take electives and your electives is with every other department whatever you just whatever you decide but it has to connect to your thesis you know but whatever you cross that bitch when you come but <laughs> Another downfall is, well, I don't think it's a downfall, it's the student loans. For me, they don't get paid when they, when I have a chance to pay them. <laughs> I'm not really tripping really, but I do have a lot of student loans from my BA and all the way to now in my master's. I didn't, I didn't really save a lot, let's say that. I didn't save a lot for my BA. That's why I think, of course, that's why I have to get student loans and it's okay. It's okay. Just learn from my lesson. Get grants and scholarships. Learn from me. Oh, it's going to be dating. I know. I added it to this. So, if you're dating someone or you meet someone outside of school and they find out that you're in grad school, they find your career goal, I feel like a lot of men get intimidated and then they're like oh you know they won't even talk to me i experienced that a lot that's actually good that's actually good because weaves out all the bad the narcissist men it we, well actually no because if a i'm not trying to be shallow or anything but if a guy if you tell a guy your career goal you tell me you're in grad school and he's nowhere on your level he came and barely hold a job and he still tried to talk to you that's a sign of narcissism and you should run okay side note <laughs> so we're not talking about dating but we were talking about dating we're not talking <laughs> this whole video is not gonna be about dating but i can go there and we can explain tips and all that good stuff but we're talking about grad school so what's my next step mm. uh what's well, not a downfall but it is a lot of homework and a lot of reading well you know what that shouldn't be a downfall that should be a good thing you know what I mean? Like, we have to read. We have to be educated. We have to learn. Okay? I love learning. So, that is it on my tips on should you go to grad school. And if you're deciding whether you want to do it, I say do it. Because, like I said earlier, a BA is like equivalent to a high school diploma now. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing wrong with getting more education. Just, just do it. Either go to grad school or law school. That's the two options I feel like we should have. <laughs> so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them. I would love to respond. And make sure to subscribe. I do not niche down here on my channel. I'll show you guys literally everything about my life. Over the summer, my content has been literally over, all over the place. Because I, I don't have any school content so I'm just creating content from what I've been doing but I haven't been really doing anything but work and doing pop-ups for me and my own business but that's not here or there so make sure to subscribe get to know me and next week I'm going back to my college life so yeah that's it